What's up? It finally happened. We got an update. I actually recorded that video already once and then I actually got to know my microphone was... You did. Yeah, rest in pepperonis. Anyway, the Cologne 2015 Pick'em Challenge is that. There's a major change with the signatures of the players. And much, much, much more to come. Click here for details. I'm gonna link that detail page down below. Um, just if you're in case you're asking. And I'm gonna link hltv.org with the stats, with the brilliant stats that helped me going through this. Anyway, the autograph stickers, the players pick and challenge is new, and as per usual we know the team stickers and the team pick and challenge. Now, what exactly, I have no idea what, how many points we exactly need, no, 75, there it is. For 75 points you get the gold, however, in total, I think you can get 200 points in total. So the player pick em challenge and the team pick em challenge, they both go in hand in hand. It's not like you're gonna get two trophies for being right in the player or in the team, but you're gonna have a lot more points that you can score by actually doing both. Now, with that being said, it's really, 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 really hard to get like the, the player pick em to like highest headshot percentage. All right, we're gonna put Scream off the table. He's got like 68% headshots or something like that. And yeah, we're gonna put them off the table. He's like 20% above each, all the others. I feel like he's a safe bet in group B. Now we have group A though, TSM, Nip. We have group C, we have like Navi, Titan. We have on group D, we have Virtus, we have Mouse, we have Renegades and we have all these great teams that can actually and like, if one guy get like, just imagine that scenario. One guy is gonna get like, one kill in the whole two maps, crash out the tournament, it was a headshot, 100% headshot percentage win. It's not gonna happen though, but you, you know you get my drill. It's really, really unpredictable. So with that being said, um, I'm gonna get to the point of the video straight off the bat. Um, I can only do group, group stage day one. And I can only do day one of the group stage through four teams that I feel like are gonna go through with 2 0 without a loss, just making the group stage, making it easy, not coming across any stumbles and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go into it. You go into your menu, you have it right here. You have Counter Strike, a beautiful Counter Strike. Um, Cologne Pick'em Challenge 2015, you have that news. You can get the stickers, Cologne Tournament stickers, get the stickers. And then you can buy these autograph these team stickers you can buy directly for 92 cents um, that's euro I feel like it's exactly one dollar should be one dollar shouldn't it US people if you are watching this please tell me it is one dollar otherwise I'm gonna stay sitting here like a stupid fool but I feel like it's one dollar anyway <laughs> the autographs you can buy the capsules and then get your lucky pick out of there or you can go on the market obviously since people who are gonna open these capsules are longing to make some profit and they're probably gonna sell the high profile players. Like for instance, King and Scream, everyone wants Scream. So if you don't wanna waste money and be lucky and gamble on the autograph capsule, just buy it off the market. Um, I guess that's, uh, that's good advice. Now you have these um, capsules to buy from all the groups. So that's probably gonna go like revenue to all the teams then, the foil ones. And these are gonna go to the revenue of the teams directly. So if you wanna support your favorite team, go get their capsule. If you want to support any team out of any group, go get the autograph capsules of the groups, the foil ones. Um, they are obviously more expensive. Um, with that being said, my pick em challenge. It looks like this, sick UI, nice stuff, well done. Um, group stage one, I feel like, I have that good feeling, okay? Nip is not gonna play against TSM at the first map. They're gonna play the first map against, I feel, uh, Renegades, I think. So they're gonna um, grind one out there, Probably gonna be like 16, 10, 16, 9-ish. Then they're gonna be warmed up and then they're gonna win a close game against TSM. So my pick is on mid. Group B, I guess we can all agree on Envy gonna go through them. I don't think that they, I don't, I don't think that King Green is gonna be individually already up to par in the first game. So I feel like Envy is gonna grind that game against King Green. Then proceed to play either Luminosity or Flipside, which is gonna end up in Envy taking it, in my opinion. I don't see, no offense Brazilians, but I don't see Envy winning it against the Brazilians somewhat. Um, if they do, go, go go get at me and kill me. Yeah, no. But anyway, Group C is the toughest one. You see my bet Titan. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really know. But I have that thing that says to me that Titan is going to be Fnatic in the first game and then they're going to beat Na'Vi um, when they're warmed up. Group D, 
Uh, maybe my German heart speaks there, but I see Mousepods doing it again. I see Virtus winning against Carl 9, Mousepods taking uh, immunity, taking on Virtus Pro after that, and then winning against Virtus. I really have that feeling that Gabi is going to be that one guy making the difference with the preparation. Now, obviously, you see I already have two points, and that is just for playing either of these Pick'em Challenges. You can get six points for getting those right. So if I'd actually theoretically, theoretically get like two out of these eight here, right? I'd already have bronze. So it's really easy to get gold, I feel like, if you continuously play the pick and challenge. Now, for group day one with the players, highest headshot percentage. It's too close to call. I've looked at them all up in group A, Statistically, it should be Forrest or Dupree. Um, I picked Forrest because, you know, I love that guy. So let's put Forrest off the bat. I picked Forrest. Um, I believe in him, doing it. Then we have Group B. E. I guess we all can agree that scream. Like, unless he somehow ends up ill or something, I feel like he's gonna do it. Right? So, scream with the 68%, he's above 20% above everyone else. Um, nearly 20% above everyone else. My bets on him. Group C is already again that weird thing that Titan is going to play really well and Shox is going to like end up taking it um, by doing some crazy headshot aces, piss rounds, whatever the hell. So my bet is on Shox. Um, in Group C you can literally take any player out of Fnatic, Navi, Titan kind of. Like obviously not the Orpus. Uh, headshots, we're talking headshots, not kills. So not ta don't take the Orpus, please, don't take the Orpus. Because they are obviously, if they have the chance, they're going to pick up the Orp, they're going to get these body kills, and then headshot percent just goes down the drain. Gant down the drain. <laughs> Fuck my life. Um, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, Group D. Um, it's going to be the individual's Cloud9, kind of. And uh, let's... I have my, I have my, my head thinking that nothing's going to go Rampage, going to go headshot, it's going to take them down. This is my picks. for Scream, Shocks, Nothing, and the team pick, it's Nip, Envy, Titan, Mouse. Um, I do believe that probably 99% of you are not gonna agree with me on everything, um, or a lot of you won't probably agree on anything I did, but it's just, it's really close, it's really hard to judge when all the people, all the teams, all the players are in that run. It's probably gonna get easier towards the later stages, but yeah. I'm gonna keep you updated on Facebook, Twitter. Um, while I'm at the event, I'm actually gonna film there, so if you wanna meet up, do it. Um, I'm probably gonna Twitter, Facebook or something, where I am. So you can check. I'm gonna link everything down below in the description, the blog where you can get the info. HL TV, where you can check the stats for yourself um, and see, maybe do a statistical analysis. Maybe uh, Petna from HLTV.org, the stats guy, he's gonna do it as well. I don't know. And uh, yeah, Facebook, Twitter, also down below in the description. Twitter is probably the easiest to reach me nowadays. Um, yeah, with that being said, have fun in the Pick'em Challenge. Good luck with it. Um, hopefully we're all going to end up with gold. And the, with that, be, like, all the sides, the tournament is going to be sick. So I want to see everyone in Lanxus. It's going to be insane. Have fun watching the tournament. It's going to be great. I'm going to release the trailer as well in the coming days. So stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of, lot of, lot of stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, take care, have a good night guys.